Just to confirm, iOS 10.2 Beta 4 does not patch the lock screen bypass. I'm in the photos, I can bring up Siri just to darken the screen, and you can see the lock there, and I'm in the photos right now. What's up guys, I by Help here, and today Apple released iOS 10.2 Beta 4 to registered developers, and you can go ahead and download it by going to General and Software Updates. Now, I didn't get prompted at first uh, over the air, but after rebooting my device several times, I did get the prompt to update over the air. If you have any issues, you can go ahead and do uh, the software update via iTunes as well, uh, in case you don't get it. Now, right here, the latest beta, for those of you who always want to know, is 14C82. Now, the one thing thing I did want to cover and as you saw at the beginning of the video uh, Apple has yet to patch the lock screen bypass that I've released a few uh, weeks ago Apple has yet to patch that and it is currently working on the latest 10.2 beta 4 I've tested it on the iPhone 7 plus the iPhone 7 6 6s and 6s plus so they're all working on the bypass as well as iPads by the way I also wanted to talk about some of the changes there isn't really a whole lot going on in terms of changes for the software now a few things that I did miss from the previous beta that the TV application now gets to standalone uh, extension here in settings where you can choose to play back uh, with your network connection choose uh, the best quality when you're on Wi-Fi and, and some additional options where you can sign in directly through the extension for the Apple TV or the television application rather there in the settings application now there is a minor change here where the uh, flash notifications uh, right here well you can go ahead and enable the flash to automatically uh, be enabled when you put your device on silence mode so for those of you who don't know you can go ahead and use the flash as a notifier when you get a notification when your device is in silent mode but now you have the option to enable that automatically once your device is triggered to be in silent mode now some of the glitches that I've released in the last couple of days was the uh, the ability to remove labels from icons that is still possible so you can see there that I can remove the labels from the icons if you want to watch that video it's going to be linked in the description down below you can see that's still working as well in terms of performance the iOS 10.2 beta 3 came in at a 3350 three single core score and there's a drastic drop as you can see there at 3271 on the single core score from beta 3 to beta 4 and also the multi-core score performance also uh, decreased as well 5554 on beta 3 and 5410 on beta 4. Now you can't really notice any drastic change in terms of performance because as we know these tests could have a margin for error. The performance of the device feels uh, just the same as the previous beta. I wanted to give you guys this quick update on some of the glitches that are still working. The very important lock screen bypass which is still present. So we could expect iOS 9.3.6 for older devices that do not support iOS 10. By the middle of December we could be anticipating the official release of iOS 10.2 hopefully with all the patches in place there's been a lot of glitches out there right now so hopefully everything goes well and we have all these patches and we'll see a release by mid december at the latest and that's everything i have guys i hope you guys enjoy this quick update on the latest beta it's been night by yourself i hope you guys have a great day and i will catch you guys on the next one peace